Hey there, my name is Chuck Black and welcome to my studio. So I thought it'd be a lot of fun to bring you guys back into another one of these larger, much more detailed studio paintings. And this one in particular, I've um, been working on for about a week and I have a lot of things that I have to work on yet before I'm going to call this a completed painting. But today I'm going to be working on the campfire and that campfire is going to be right down in here and you can see on either side I've added highlights to the logs anticipating that light source. But today we're going to show you how to dive in to that light source itself, the flame, and I'll show you some cool tricks, some different techniques and how I get things to really glow. So again, hope you join us. I'm using golden fluid acrylics and remember, I give away a free hand signed art print every week to one of my email subscribers and all you have to do to sign up is click this card right here for more info. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I've been working on a lot of this area up through here and as I got down into here, before I got ahead of myself, a lot of this looks pretty rough. I wanted to work on kind of the main focal point, which will be the campfire itself. Then I'll kind of know what to, what to do around it. And so that's kind of where I'm at. There's going to be some people on these two logs here, but let's just focus. I want to get this campfire established. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a round brush, smaller round brush. I'm going to take some white. That fire... right through here now I'm thinking about the flame itself where's the brightest part of that that fire where's that gonna be probably about right there I'm gonna pick up some yellow I'm gonna go around the outside Have some orange. Just pick up a bunch of it. And we'll kind of go around the outside of that. I'm going to grab some red, mix it with the orange. There's going to be some coals down below. And let's grab some black. You know, it just creates logs pretty easily just by adding some black. I'm going to pick up some white, mix it in with that black. This will be kind of gray. Because of course, some of the coals start to appear white after a while. So we're just going to put in some white coals. Just get it around that area. All right, I'm going to wash the brush. And we want the, the so the, a lot of this right now is, is unfinished. It's more or less an underpainting of, of the campfire itself. So let's just let that dry. And then around it, we want to create a glow. And that sand is kind of orange, tannish color. Well, let's just grab some orange, see how that works. I'll grab some red, make some red in there.
right up to that flame because that glow is going to be right behind it as well. Going over here. I'm going to grab, while we have it, I'm going to grab some yellow. I'm going to put some white, some orange. We're going to test it out in this tree. So just like I did with the logs here, that campfire is going to be glowing, probably projecting that glow against the tree somewhat over here. Let's just start that. Let's see how it goes. A little bit too much. We can get rid of that. That's not a bad start. Just playing with that idea. Sometimes I do this and then I'll get rid of it later, but I want to find out how's it going to look. I'm going to take some more brighter colors, just stick them in there. Let's let that dry for now, too. grab I think it's more gray and red I want it to be muted kind of orangish just looking for that right tone Getting a little more confident with what I want. So I'm applying more color. Put random textures down, they'll change. But you gotta get started. You gotta get started with something. Take some yellow and white, create some extra highlights. Kind of follow your paint strokes around the flame itself, kind of get that circle of motion going with these highlights. Just playing with it, trying to find that right combination. One color I like is burnt sienna for things like this. So I'm just pulling out some burnt sienna over here on my palette. Grab some of that. That's that, some of that rich red. Pretty transparent. Just kind of richens the outside there. And I can spread it around with my finger. That'd be good for the logs. I'm going to switch to an older brush. I'm going to get a little rough with this brush. Just kind of scrub. Scrub some color. I might use my finger. That seems this tree be a good color to enhance that glow that we started to create on that tree. See how just a bit of red, bit of burnt sienna can really change things. This is more or less glazing. Whoops. It's a little bit too hard there. Now I know you can start to see that glow. It's starting to make sense. A little bit. I 
I'll grab some black. Continue with making textures, all kinds of textures. This is something that I work on a long time. I will change things kind of continuously throughout the process of this painting. I'll probably go back. There's a lot of painting left to do on this whole piece. And as I work on that, probably will go back to the fire here and poke on a few more details. But So just know that it's kind of a continual, continuing process that never really gets finished. It's, it's hard to be happy with something, at least for me anyways, I get pretty particular. So you just keep working at it. And eventually you just kind of accept what you got, call it a finished painting. We're going to try to do as much as we can right now just to kind of show you. But just so you know, I keep working on this. Right underneath the log, some darker shadows. So that's starting to look like a good glow. And I'm going to grab some orange and red. I'm try to mix something in between this burnt sienna. Got some yellow. Yeah, that might work. That's pretty good. So I will fine tune the texture in this. This is going to be sand and there's going to be a lot of texture. But for this purpose, I just want you to see how I can manipulate these colors and get them on there in such a way that it really looks like it's glowing. So we're just going to get the basis of all that set up. Grab more burnt sienna, put some more back way down in here. See if we just add some? Create subtle, subtle, subtle highlights way back in the shadows here. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And way down here. Okay, now we're getting to a point. I know we want to keep... Oh, we want this flame to really come alive, but we're going to have to let it dry. And this is about the point. Before I do that, real quick, I'll grab some yellow, some orange, some white. We're going to create a couple extra flames. You always got flames hanging on some of these logs. Little flames, kind of sporadic on the outside of this major flame. Okay. Let's let it dry and we'll come back. Okay, so now that we've let this dry, what I want to do is start to glaze the edges of the flame and really bring the, the reds out and the oranges and then we want to brighten the center of it. So I'm going to take some red and we'll go with some yellow, kind of an orange color, and then we're going to grab some water. I'm going to mix that in. And right on the edge, that's a little too thin. Grab some more yellow and red. Try to just get some of that water out of there. I'm going to wipe that off. That's, that's a bit better. So we're just glazing this reddish orange color right over the top. You don't want to get too close to the center. 
down low we're going to have some more. We can even take pure red, add it to a couple spots, way down in the bottom. I'm going to wash the brush. I'm picking up some yellow mixed with some water. This will be like a glaze again. That's kind of what we're doing at this point. Kind of what we're doing with every color. Grab more yellow. Try to fan that into that reddish orange we just laid down. I'm gonna wash the brush again. And I wanna break up this flame. We've got a really solid flame right there and I think we can do better. Let's take some burnt sienna and some black. We're gonna go right into it, right into the flame. Just start breaking it up. And we'll do another one right there. Let's connect these two. We don't want them to get too broken up. We want them to be in larger blocks. Wash the brush again. We're going to take some white and some yellow and mix those two together. And to brighten these flames, sometimes take several layers. You have to mix the same color, that bright white, bright yellow. You got to kind of go over the same areas more than once. There's a little, little bit of flame underneath that log. It's kind of rising up right there. We're going to take red, burnt sienna, some yellow, Get some orange color. Let's keep breaking that up higher this time though. So we're gonna use more oranges. And we can get away with maybe right there. Anywhere where we blocked in those darker colors, like right there, we're going to want some orange right around it. We don't want it to be white around that log. We want it to be orange or yellow. I'm just going around the outer edges of these little flames, adding some orange. I'm going to grab some more yellow. There's just a touch of orange in this yellow. I'm just trying to make sense of these patches of orange we laid out. We want it to go from orange to yellow-orange to yellow and then white in the center. 
that's kind of what I'm after. I'm taking some red. I may get I may get some white and yellow in this red just to cover more. We're gonna go on the outside of these flames again. We want it to fade off into red. Now remember we still have to work on the background, or at least I do. So we're not gonna go overboard with the edges of this flame because I will work the outside of it we may have to rework these red edges. So I just get them close to what I like and fix them later in the painting. But for now, you can see how that red starts to add a lot of character to this flame, a lot of depth, brings it to life. I'm going to wash the brush again. We're going to take white right in the center. We're going to cover this already patch of white and make it even whiter. A couple of these smaller ones. And I may go over this a fourth time but it doesn't change a lot from here. You might smooth it out, but the basic elements of this fire are pretty much established. All we have to do is smooth out these colors. And that's just kind of a personal preference. Depends how far you want to take it. And we can poke at this for a long time, but you can see how simple that is to create a flame. We can take some red, some white, and black. Make it a dark violet color. Let me take some more red. I'm gonna go over those logs. I like this. I like a little red in that that log. Kind of brings that those violet colors out. And then we can even use that to start shading some areas around. Again, this is going to be about adding little textures. Smaller the textures, the more realism you're probably going to be able to pull out of anything that you're, you're trying to paint. Unless you want it to be really smooth, like the sun or the, the flame itself. So I like to add textures to the sand. I think we take some yellow, kind of enhance this, enhance this flame, make it look like it's really glowing. We take some yellow, a bit of red, and white. And right where we've added these oranges in the sand, kind of on the front edge, the leading edge, the one that's closest to the flame, we can add some small highlights anywhere. You can get away with a small highlight. I like to just kind of go for it, include it. You can see these little textures start to build up. Really makes like makes the flame look like it's actually glowing. It's got to have an impact on the things around it, or you won't believe that it's a real flame. So anywhere I can find a dark spot, I kind of go behind that dark spot and add a bit, bit of highlight. I'm going to take some more of that color. Start to add it on the tree. Some highlight. 
and some more on this log. These logs are going to have to have a lot of work done to them. And then, of course, there's going to be people here, and I don't know what color shirts they're wearing yet. If I can show you, if this guy's wearing a red shirt, you can put some red on the back of his shirt, like the, like the flame is glowing against it. Maybe this other person's got a greenish shirt. You can put some green on this one. And then the log itself, some black with some burnt sienna. You can just start adding texture to the log. Anything to enhance the flame. These shadows are going to be casted on the bark. And so without the shadows, the flame doesn't look quite as real. So it's not just about the flame itself. It's about what are you doing to the surroundings? And what, what might the flame be doing to its surroundings? And then just try to mimic that as best you can. So we're just adding all kinds of textures, shadows that would be casted by the flame. I could go on and on and on, and I probably will. But for this, I think you've got a pretty good idea of how I do this. We can add this little part that I broke up. I've got some burnt sienna with some black, pretty watered down. We can darken some of these patches, break those tips of these flames up a little more. Maybe right there. Also down here. So we'll keep poking at that. It'll take a little while. We're going to take some white with some red, add a small amount of black. So now we've got kind of a pinkish white with a little gray. We're going to add coals. So you want these coals to be just under that red, that solid red that you laid down. You might have to add more red. We can glaze the same colors over the top of the same colors to just brighten and saturate these further and further. Again, we can keep working at it as long as we want to. Some more yellowish orange, just saturating those colors. We'll pick up some more yellow, try saturating those yellows. I can take my finger Maybe get rid of some of that yellow. Just dab it. See how it just kind of disappears. We'll grab some more white. There might be a touch of yellow in this white. That's okay. We're just going to brighten those whites again. All right. I think we are close to completion, and I may work on this more as this painting comes together. That should give you a good idea of how to paint a great flame. Well, I'm pretty happy with this campfire overall. I may add more highlights around that area of the campfire. If we brighten those highlights or add more highlights to those objects around the flame, the flame itself is going to appear brighter. So it just depends how bright we want that flame to be. And I'm gonna work on the rest of the painting before I determine that for myself. If you guys had questions, anything at all, suggestions for future videos, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I will join the discussion. And of course, if you'd like to support my channel, be sure to check out my eBay, as well as my website for art prints. And those links can be found in the description below. 
If you guys love this video, please like and share. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have many more great videos to come. Until next time, happy painting, everybody.